Yellow spinner, you're on pen stock, you know? I've been in pen spinning for quite a long time and often speak to beginners and experienced people. I've seen rises of different pen spinners and falls of others. Today I want to tell you about 5 common mistakes beginners make in their journey, so you could avoid them and do pen spinning much more efficient than I did. Ivan Vigero will help me today to make this video more interesting for you to watch. And let's start with the first mistake. Beginners often want to have pen mods which can write. It is a pretty common mistake and maybe for some of you the fact that pen mod can't write even is a deal breaker. But you see, in general pen mods are specially designed to serve several things and none of these things has anything to do with the writing. There are certainly writable pen mods and you can find pen mods on penstock.net which look exactly like simple pens. Some pen spinners specialize on spinning so-called no mods, unmodified pens suitable for spinning or serving as spare parts for pen mods. But all this is not for beginners. If you want to write with a pen mod to take it to your school or to office, to college, whatever, fine. But you wouldn't want to have it as your main pen mod. Though there is one exception and I will tell you about it in a few seconds. Even pen mods which were designed and made to be writable from the very beginning, I am, for example Flower series. I have a separate video about them, look in the description after watching this video. Even they, flowers, spin much better with the, without writing ink inside, as it adds unnecessary center weight and doesn't increase momentum. You want to have a good balance, good momentum, good weight and good length. It would be nice to have a pretty design too, but it is optional. All other properties are secondary. Even spin effect doesn't play a big role for those who are just starting, as they actually can't see it without needed skills. And ability of your mod to write is adverse, so don't hunt writable pen mods and take out writing ink if you have one. I can name only one exception, which is Flower V2 which is okay to spin even with writing ink inside. But it is the only writable pen mod I know which fits beginner's needs. It appeared only a few months ago and is a great find to those beginners who want to practice in school and in office. What is really cool about this mod is you can take off even both caps and it would be still spinnable. At the same time would look just like a simple pen. The second mistake which beginners often make is trying to skip the reverse versions of the tricks which they have already learned. Maybe it is understandable. You have just learned a trick, you are so happy about that, it brought vividly to your life and or things to your brain, you are so cool, on the top of the world, I know that feeling, it always keeps me motivated. And I think it is the main reason for pen spinning being so addictive. And suddenly, BAM! Again you are beneath tall cliff on which you have climbed just recently. You need to go from the very beginning, learn the very same trick from zero point, at least as it seems to you. In fact, it is not the same trick. Don't be confused by its name. Charge reverse is not the same as charge normal. They are two completely different tricks. And you need to learn both as they form foundation for your future progress. You need to learn it because without it you can't move on. And many tricks will be much harder to learn. And some of them even close to you. You need a stable foundation to build a skill which you would be proud of. Reverse versions of tricks are separate tricks and I always devote separate videos for them. What is really nice, if you learn them right after learning normal version, learning is going to be much faster. Maybe not much easier, but certainly much faster. And you know why? You have already learned a pretty similar trick, I mean normal version. You understand concept of its performing and remember where you had difficulties while learning it. So learning reverses in fact is very beneficial. You learn a new necessary trick on a basis of a trick which you already know. The next mistake is about pen mods again. They play a big role in pen spinning and having right to which helps you to progress is as important as having the right tool which you just like. I often see how people get stuck at the very beginning because they used wrong mods and it drives me crazy sometimes. You really can make your own pen, self mod, 
out of victory or other spare parts and materials. But first, self mods are never good. Even if you're a genius, pen motor, talented one, which are pretty rare. Even though without experience you're not gonna make a good self mod. Especially if you never hold professionally made pen mods in your hands before. What I mean is, you can make your pen first tool and it would be okay for learning basics and the easiest tricks, maybe a few links, maybe Sonic to thumb around if your self mod is good enough. But you can't move further with that. To make more or less interesting things, for which most of us love pen spinning, these things you wouldn't be able to perform with a poor instrument. The same goes for those unspinnable pieces of crap, like spin sticks, Zhigao garbage, useless unspinnable pens for pen spinning from AliExpress. Buying them is pointless, as you're gonna overgrow them like 10 times before you even get them. You would feel like Rachmaninoff with a kid's piano keyboard. Yeah, it plays some sounds, but you can't really play it. I've seen exception for this rule only once. Only one guy moved further with crappy pen mods. In all other cases, they led beginners to quitting pen spinning. Because people just couldn't get enough skill and fun out of their self mods and crap from AliExpress. I already have a pretty detailed video about self made mods, you can watch it, link in the description. And video about AliExpress mods is going to appear really soon. Push the bell button to make sure you don't miss it. The fourth mistake, which I often see, is listening to people who have no experience in teaching pen spinning whatsoever. I've seen really terrible advices for beginners a lot. Back those days when UPSB was alive, there were plenty of them. Especially on early versions of UPSB. And by bad advices, I mean when pros convince noobs to use pro mods, for example. You should know that some mods are not good for beginners. Don't listen to those guys who spin unbalanced, extremely light pen mods and recommend them to every newbie. Not that this guy is necessarily cruel. He might mislead you unintentionally. Just wanting to share with you those feelings which he gets out of spinning very hard to spin tools, for example. Maybe he doesn't even realize that such advices are harmful for your progress and may lead you to quitting pen spinning for wrong reasons. And maybe he just wants to show off, to show everybody around him how cool he is. That spinning no mods and hard to spin pens is like piece of cake. And he could do multiple busts with no mod doctor grip at the first month of practicing. Mods less than 12 grams weight, even maybe for less than 14 grams weight, shorter than 20 centimeters with shifted balance are not good choices for learning basics. You also don't need very expensive pen mods, as at the very beginning you're not going to realize how, how awesome they are. It is always better to take a few cheaper mods or spare parts for customization than taking one but very expensive pen mod. And the last, fifth, fifth. <laughs> And the last fifth mistake, which I often see, is f***ing charging thumb flap. Who the hell has invented this under trick? Okay, okay, understand. You have charging 1, 2, 2, 3 and 3, 4. Why the hell not having it in thumb flap as well? Well, because it is an ugly, useless mess. That's why. Imagine, you watch a pretty combo. Elegant. Smooth. Difficult. And when a pin spinner goes from new Sonic to fingerless thumb around reverse, which is very common, it is a very popular link. He messes out everything, ruins flow and smoothness by adding this monster. Unfortunately, this is a very common mistake. People often add charge thumb flap in this link, especially in this link. I can't remember seeing it with other tricks, only between Neo Sonic and Fingerless Thumb Around Reverse. It makes this linkage easier to perform a little bit, though. Uh, it stops to be linkage when you add charge thumb flap. In fact, it becomes a mini combo. And later you will have a very hard time trying to get rid of it. So you may see a lot of really skilled pen spinners messing out their combos with this shit. Don't even learn this trick at all. What I mean is there are several tricks in pen spinning which you may learn, may know 
but wouldn't use them at all, like a Baton Charge and Sonic, for example. You need these tricks to make your first steps in pen spinning easier, to understand how normal Sonic and normal Charge should be done, concept of their pen performing. A button versions of these tricks are helpful steps towards to mastering actual tricks. At the same time, charge thumb flap doesn't give you necessary skill. Yeah, it is easier to go from Neo Sonic to FLTA reverse with it, but it doesn't help you to learn this linkage without itself. By the way, I have made a video about this linkage, how it needs to be done, and if you want to learn it, link in the description under this video. Of course, there are much, much more mistakes out there, but others are more specified, while these five are general and very common. And I think that many of you guys would find these tips helpful. If so, let me know about that by leaving a like or comment or both under this video. You know, they motivate me to do new videos a lot. I'm Alex Sukhov. may the style be with you. Bye.